Hi, I'm Pastor Jack Manshrek. Uh, welcome to this first uh, daily devotion that we're starting on this Monday morning, May 11th. On yesterday, on Mother's Day, I mentioned that we were going to have these daily devotions based on the message notes and the devotions that I write to, to accompany the message on Sunday mornings. So we wanted to begin today with uh, our first thought of talking about the many blessings that we have in our lives. So I hope you've read the devotion. If you haven't, just kind of bear with us and we'll, we'll go through uh, those thoughts today. I have had for many years a blessing box. It's something that I uh, have kept for uh, well over 20 years. I keep things in there such as, uh, here's a paper from seminary, uh, Christian biography by, by uh, about uh, Francis Asbury. I keep thank you notes uh, that people have given to me that are particularly written uh, in meaningful ways that I found uh, that I want to keep those and keep a recording of the, the others' thanksgivings. I have some pictures in here. Uh, of uh, pictures from my seminary days, a long ago picture with myself and my sisters. Uh, and uh, I keep band medals from when I was in uh, high school. This one's from All County Band. Sometimes I'll have to tell you about the story about All County Band if you're interested. This is just a way, friends, in which I keep the blessings in my life and they remind me that I'm a blessed child of God. And at other times throughout my life, I have had the opportunity and the blessing of being a blessing to others. And so I've kept this box. It's wrapped in a Christmas paper, uh, actually from an Emmaus walk. And uh, I've used it uh, for that very purpose. I'm about ready to have to start using a second box as well. Uh, I, I consider myself very blessed, obviously. So here's the question. Where do you keep your blessings? How do you record the blessings in your lives to remind you that you are a blessed child of God and that you can be a blessing to others. Some people uh, journal. They write their thoughts and their, their memories in a place where they keep safe and so that they can refer back to them as a reminder uh, of those same blessings. Much of a journaler, it's just not part of my makeup but it may be yours. Others shared in the comments on uh, yesterday morning uh, during Sunday morning worship that, that indeed they are great at journaling. And uh, that's just wonderful. It's a great place uh, to uh, start is, is to journal or to start throwing things in a box to remind you that you are a blessed child of God. So where are you keeping your blessings? That's the question I want you to deal with today. What are the methods that you would uh, believe would work best for you? And think about the best way to preserve uh, the fact that you are a blessed child of God and you can be a blessing to others. I know it's true. Let's, let's pray. Gracious God, we ask your blessing upon those who've joined with us on this first uh, uh, daily devotion. And we ask that you be with them as they consider what it means to be blessed by you and to be called to be a blessing to others. What does it mean to, to go out into the world with a specific uh, approach and perspective that you want us to be a blessing for others? Put within us a, a heart for others, Lord, for their needs, that we might offer them good news and hope, and especially in these challenging days. We pray this in the name of Christ and the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, friends. Be blessed and be a blessing to others. Bye-bye.